What up, guys? Alcom is today playing some more WWE 2K17 Universe mode. What up, episode 266? We are at Washington, D.C. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's gonna be amazing. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Some hardcore action. You know, when you see this man running down to the ring, you know it's gonna get hardcore. I don't think I've ever seen him in a singles match. If you think about it, has he ever been in a singles one-on-one -on -one contest? No stipulations or anything? Don't believe so. Be the way. This guy is ready to go to work. And as always, you gotta be wondering what the hell's going through his mind because I think the only thing going through his mind right now is getting that hardcore championship back. The question is, can he do it tonight? Can he be another, get another title run under his waist? We'll find out soon enough. Or maybe we won't. I don't know. Don't really know what to tell you. Because when this guy makes his way down the ring, anything's possible for him as well. And there, uh, got another guy who's only been here for a little bit. But really killed it in that little bit of time. Been, what, a two-time champion at this point now? I can't even count. The, the belt changes so much. It's one of those belts that has so many people of hell holding it, so many title reigns, but title reigns can end so quickly we're all being on one foul of a move. Sometimes you not even being in the in the match can be be all end all of this of said match. Sometimes you can have that hardcore belt right around your waist, you can be holding it for a damn month, and all of a sudden you can lose it. Not even being the and by not even being the one getting pinned. It's all these things that happen. You gotta constantly constantly not just rely on your opponents in a match like this. But at the same time, you gotta hope that your opponents can stay in this thing for themselves. Hope that you can make the save for them. As much as people want to say they can be great hardcore champions, here comes the hardcore champion, the current hardcore champion, Baldo Bernard. I said last week he's been a great tag team competitor along with the beast Adam Anderson. But tonight, well, last week, he gained that belt. He, he, he got that belt around his waist, as you see there. He got it. From Fuego Cinco. Fuego Cinco tonight here tonight. And for good reason. I think it would take a good time to rest. I'm not even sure any of these guys are 100% ever. When you're in that hardcore division, you put yourself in that mental state and mental mind. Who knows what this who knows what's gonna happen? Quite honestly, I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but I'll tell you this. If the hardcore championships on the line. Then you know this one's gonna get out of control. Opening match here for Pure Test Wrestling. Referee holds the belt up. Like I said, in this match, you never know what to expect. Psycho Nemeth, Samson Crane, Boulder Bernard. These three men get it going. Parkour style action. Let's get it. Let's do this thing. And right now, you saw how they the, were both looking towards Boulder Bernard to get something. Oh! And they were going to attack, and then out of nowhere, Samson Crane turns things around. And Samson cannot be 100% by any means necessary. He can't be. He seriously can't be. All the damage he's taken. Oh! And trying to, you know, exert so much energy into being the hardcore champion. That's something that he really, I, I guess he feels belongs to him. And in the process of getting himself hurt. Oh, gosh. Shots to the chest there. Oh, close on takedown there. Body check. That shoulder block is crashing these much smaller men down. And Baldwin Art is unstoppable right now, it would seem. Oof. Since we cannot, has no idea what's going on right now. Aggressive pin there, laying all that body weight across the shoulders. Those that shoulder up the second damage though, you can't count them out of this match just yet. Oh, went for that clothesline, got crashed into there by second damage. Like I said, Nemeth not exactly the smallest guy by any means, and it definitely shows that, that power that he can bring as well in this match. And as good as Boulder Bernard is, and as big as Boulder Bernard is, he just got tossed over with that, 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 that fireman's carry there. Short and effective, like this Lucha style coming up into play. Elbow drop right there. Oh. Shot to the throat. 
Now trying to slow down the bold big the big man. Toss him from pillar to post here. Going for, for a splash. Oh, this is that. Oh, and both guys thinking something here. Short arm clothesline takes him down. Baldemar now rolling out. Come, keep coming down to this. He really can come down these two right here. Maybe the Baldemar, maybe as quick as Baldemar is, may not be able to get up as quick as other two guys can. And that may be up to their, that may be their advantage, or may that be their disadvantage. Who knows? Oh! Sometimes when you're too quick, you're not thinking as fast as your body is. And all it takes is one foul soup like that to catch you out of your game. One, two, only two. Baldemar not dumb. He knows that hardcore style action. Request some hardcore some hardcore weaponry. Oof. Body splash right there. Oh, jab right there to the chest. Set enough for a suplex. Oh, take the big man down. Strengths the table out of hand of Samson Crane. Oh, Samson Crane trying to get that table back now. So fight over the table, quite honestly. Oh, <laughs> and every time Nemeth gets up, he gets hit right back down with that, that table. These guys fighting over this table here. It's all about who can get it. It's all about who can get it first. Oh, and get it in their hands and make the attack. Right now, Boulder Bernard with the attack there. And the attack just may have taken down Samson Crane. Oh, gosh. Getting that one Sval soup of, a of some time. That's all I need was some, uh, a second of time. And that's all. That's what you got from that. That's what you got from that. Jawbreaker tough as nails there. Neckbreaker brings down the much bigger man. Rolls the outside as the, as the big man. At least I thought he was. Oh, right there. Cuts him off. Central King was trying to get something going. Oh! Finds himself in a bad way. On the ground there. We saw Bolo trying to think of something. Think of something drastic here. They may have changed the pace of this match here permanently. And who knows what Samson Crane oh, has in, 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 still in store for him. Like I said, not 100%. Has, out of all three people, he cannot be 100%. Oh, hits the referee down. I don't think he was expecting to do that. But sometimes that's what happens in a match like this. Oh, DDT. Jeez, big man just got crashed down there. Punch right there. Look at this. Gets all of that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh! Crushed him into the ground. The referee knocked down from Baldur Bernard just a few moments ago. Now Nemeth up to no up to no good. I can tell you that. Up to no damn good. Toss him for oh. Reverses out of that. Samson Crane goes for it. Goes in for the shot. Gets cut off. Samson Crane being a little quicker than two. Headlock. Uh, oh. Headlock style takedown there. Could take him out of this match here permanently, but no. Baltimore makes a save. Forearm shot to the spine. And they, oh, gosh. Look at this strength. Look at that strength. Look at that. Look at that. That's just what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Fucking hey. Samson Crane out of this thing. Oh, shots. Mongolian swatted away. Kick to the mid-section. Psycho Nemeth close lines the big man over. Let's be all Psycho Nemeth here. It seems like he's been controlling most of the, the majority of this match here so far. Oh! And pushes it right into the front of the table here. Now it could be Psycho Nemeth trying to finish this thing on the outside. But why would you want to do that on the outside? But either way, Boulder Bernard saw it coming a mile away. My goodness, did you hear the thud of, 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 sorry, of Psycho Nemeth's body smashing right off the ground here takes that ladder out of hand oh tossing him into that table there's not a lot to uh, give on that table not the hardest substance in this ring by any means in this arena by any means but you best believe if you get your head smashed off that's gonna start slowing you down at least a, at least a little bit oh gosh this tiger suplex, my goodness. I don't know what happened, but a whiplash effect was definitely ensured there. And that can ensure some doom coming up. That can ensure some doom coming up here for, from Baldo Bernard. Baldo setting up for some big, but no, Samson Crane giving enough time. Russian Lacey coming up. Oh! 
right now. If you're Samson Crane, your next step is in. Hey, I gotta find a way out of this, out of the, to, back in this match. Because right now, as much as I've been doing, as much as I've been keeping myself at bay of, of everything here, he just hasn't found it yet. He just hasn't found that win that he needs yet to get himself back in this thing. At the same time, like I said, the guy has to be down. Oh, damn, they're up, down and out. Close line to the back of the neck. So I'm jump right over him. Probably get avoiding him, trying to make sure that, hey, he does get out of here. Oh! Baldo's just so damn big and imposing. This is this is a big guy here. Mind you, second one is no smaller by himself. But my goodness, Baldo Bernard is just a beast of a man. And this can be seem it seems almost damn near unstoppable at times. Oh no. Nemeth, please! He's gonna go right through the table! Oh, oh no! Luckily, the table didn't didn't break apart. That could have been the end of, ball, of a second of his neck right there. Regardless, bad spot to be going for that Mongolian again. Neck breaker there. Oh! Are you kidding me? Stop! You guys in this cut, you know, gonna cut it out. Oh gosh, I need that. He's on knee him right there. Samson Crane fights out of it once again. Oh gosh, set up exploding suplex and the table breaks right there. Samson Crane only needs to go for the pin now. This could be it right here. One, two, no. Big man just kicks out at the last moment. Headbutt yeah, right there. My goodness, Samson Crane keeping things going his way. Both of Bernard slowly getting up. Never. DDT, oh, I thought he was going for a DDT, but he went for something totally different. Totally unexpected. Shot right there. Oh, hits the ground hard. Oh, he cuts him up again. I think you just realized that the fucking ball is trying to. Every time he goes for a pin. Oh, these guys fight back and forth. Oh, fight down. Cracking him with those shots there. Now going to go under this. Oh, the referee again taking another shot, to, taking another fall here. And took that one hard, hard as hell. Regardless, bad spot to be. Oh, that leg. Everyone going for everything. But when it comes down to it, it may come down to this right here. Death Valley Driver coming up here. Running in. Look at this. He runs with it. Nasty ass move right there. <laughs> and now you look at look at Bolton Bernard in the middle of the ring. Just whipping him around. Oh, he slides right off that. Did you see that his body get smashed right off that there? Roll up here could do it. Roll up here could do it. Loading all the way across the the, the, the the back here to no and gets out of that does cycle Nemeth. Nemeth luckily do oh, punch right into the midsection. Jawbreaker tough as nails and hits the ground hard. You know he's hitting the ground hard for that. Referee, recall it. One. One. Is it what you got from Boulder Bernard once again? Oof. I saw it last week. Has he started to really shake things up here for himself? And it has made has made his return here. Now telling the big man to get up. The question is, what the hell does Nemeth have in store here? The question is, what doesn't Nemeth have in store here? Oh, well, leg lariat right there. Takes a... Crashes, hits the ground, goes for the pin, makes a save, does Samson Crane. Now it's down to Crane and him once again. So Crane and Nemeth back, back into it. Back elbow there. Shot right there to the face. Headlock driver, take down, beautiful right there. He crashes him into the mat. This could be it. This easily could be right here. This easily could be right here. Could be right here. One, two, throw. And throws that shoulder number two. Oh no. Rolls out of that. Big man. Hits hard. Oh. Form shot. Pushes him off. You can't, you, can't, you can't lift a man like that. You're not lifting a man like that. Are you crazy? Oh, gets that leg though. Boulder Bernard. Taking a ball here, Dragon Screw. Boulder fights out of that. Boulder going for that boot. Right now, if you're Sam Screen, you need to get back in this thing quickly. Looks like Bolo's trying to finish, and he just made right here. 
You gotta give him credit for fighting back with these much smaller guys. As big as he is, it takes so much. It takes so much to be the, to do what he's doing. And right now, just maybe out of this thing. Look at this beautiful maneuver there. Now Nim thinks he's gonna go to the top or, or try to go for a quick pin. Maybe it maybe enough. One, two, no, and then both of them not to hold that shoulder for two. Samson Crane, jawbreaker. Saw the same thing from Nemeth just moments ago. Now they may come down to these two right here. They may come down to these two right here. The question is, what the hell is Samson Crane up to? What's his plan? What's his, what's his big end goal here? Is his end goal to win this thing? Or just try to slow, him, slow down Baldominar for the next possible time these guys meet? You know, you, I think everyone knows, oh, that Samson Crane is not 100%. I think Samson Crane himself knows not 100%. He's going to try and get a win here. He's going to try and do everything here. Referee one. Two. Oh, and he got the three. No way. Samson Crane with a roll of victory here. The big man just couldn't fathom it. And this one was over. In seconds, I mean, he didn't expect it. And I honestly thought that Baltimore would keep things going here for himself here tonight. But guess what? That just wasn't the case. I'm sure these guys will meet again. But man, Samson Crane again. What a third time hardcore champion. You gotta give him credit for that. That's amazing. And not many men, not many men can say that they've done that three times here. And pure test wrestling in the last few months. That's, that's pretty amazing, quite honestly. What a match, what a match, what a match. These guys brought it. I don't think Baltimore was at his best here, quite honestly. But at the end of the day, when it was all said and done, he's not holding that belt anymore. Like I said, I don't care who, how good you are. Sometimes you may not be the person even getting pinned. Sure, that wasn't the case here tonight. But some, like I said, when you're the bigger man in a match like this, you got to pace yourself because these smaller guys simply can just go through things. It's like being a, it's like being a, a spider compared to being a, a, an elephant almost. Okay, it's, he's, he's not that big. But you get the idea where, hey, taking a fall may not hurt them as much as you taking a fall. And Samson Crane made sure that as many falls as he's taken, that he's found a way to get himself right back up. And right now, that Harker Championship belongs to this man once again. Here we got some more action for you up next. So get ready for it, here on Pure Intense Wrestling. Yeah. Welcome back to Pure Intense Wrestling. Deadshot makes his return here tonight. Oh gosh, and already starting off here against Serotonin. Serotonin once being Azrael. Saw the nameplate making, making their way down to the ring at the time. And Serotonin out here, not only that, but with Jack Manson, meaning that, hey, something may come to it. Oh, may come to be, may come to pass. And look at Serotonin laying in shots early, not giving Deadshot a second to recover. Deadshot came in with that running Meteor there, rolling the knees right across the face of Serotonin. Also, at the same time, Serotonin cutting the hair once Azrael, I think, rebirthing himself one more time. And the guy always finds a way to keep changing himself, keep evolving himself, and wait on what code, right? honestly, you gotta be scared of this guy serotonin here, because you don't know what, the, what he has planned, at the same time, you don't know what he, what Jack Manson on the outside has planned either. Oh, laying that shot in. Oh, that lariat, that elbow just smashed right across the face, more of that form of anything, smashed right across the face, dead shot, it's not gonna slow down by any means. Snap suplex there. Gotta give him credit though. Oh gosh. Oh, he hit him with a lifter. What a shot there. Serotonin laying down the groundwork here for this match. Now, now the guy knows he gets some speed. Oh, fresh right across the shoot, right across the rib cage there. Oh, dead shot. Dead shot being slowed down here by the much bigger man. Slightly bigger man. Much more experienced serotonin as well. Just these guys are back and forth. You wouldn't expect. I don't think these guys have ever been in a match against each other here. Like I said last year, I don't think I told you this before, but last year this guy was in Pure Wrestling as Bullet and had some great matches. The stuff he did was insane. And now, just to add on to the repertoire of his own, double foot stomp there. And just the back and forth, like I said before, is insane. It's, it's completely insane. Oh, clobbers him down to the ground. Trying to get a quick lateral press here. Sorry, no hook of the leg. One, two, no. Only gets a two. But you gotta believe, 
You gotta believe that Serotonin has a plan. There's something's got something's gotta give. There's something's gotta give for him and Jack Manson, I guess, teaming up or Jack Manson being out here. Look at this. Trying to get some speed. Watch this! Oh! <laughs> got some speed and turned that head scissors into a little course through uh sorry, course grax kick, if anything. Looking out. Oh Serotonin. In a bad spot here. That rebirth but may all be for nothing. Goes for a cutter. Got cut off it would seem. And lighting in those shots. We this is this is just the the vintage. Oh I can't say Azrael would be vintage here, but that vintage style that, that only Serotonin could bring. Well formerly Azrael could bring. Clothesline there. Bulldog beautiful. Now try to get the crowd behind him to set up for a finish. To set up for a finish here. No. And again, right, laying that knee right into the right into the head. Clothesline. Laying out dead shot there. Not gonna waste time. Not gonna try and get one over here. Shot to the chest. Back elbow there. Serotonin toss him on the outside. Oh gosh. Hits the ground hard. Seems like Serotonin's running out of fly, and you can't take this man away. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, what a match. Walking around there with Jack Manson. Manson can't enter himself in this match by... He's trying to give him a little pep talk here to say what's... To tell him what, what's, what's the next step. I don't think Serotonin is a pep talk, but... Let's miss way we should get. Calf kick missed. Perfect out of five. Somehow saves himself. Oh, back elbow there. Tosses him back into the ring. Trying to get some speed set up for something. Oh, area takedown there. Serotonin up to no good. You know, that was on the second rope. Who knows what the man can do? What he can do is damage. Watch this. Oh, I think he was going for that DDT there. Oh, shot right there across the head. Just attempting this man here. Deadshot takes advantage of that opportunity. Tosses him into the corner. Turns him around for whatever he wants to go for. Serotonin. Oh, he's hit, hit damage takedown there. His pace being slowed here for the moment. As much as it may seem like he's speeding up. And that's all going towards Deadshot here, which is usually the faster man of the two. Going in, going in for a kill, going in for a kill, going in for a kill, it would seem. Let's see what he can do, let's see what he can do, let's see what he can do, feel it all. Oh, saw it coming, oh, shot right there. Kick to the midsection, sets up even, oh, even flow, even flow, even flow. Call it what it is, referee, one, two. Throw! <laughs> and you just may have thought it was it. This match may have just began. This is amazing. Tempting him again to get up. Tempting him again to get up. Oh, he got all that DDT from the top. Could do it. Could lay him out here permanently. Referee call that as it is. Two. And again, only a two. Who knows what this man has in store for anyone? Oh, back elbow there. This. Oh, saw come in reverse DDT. Getting some speed. Watch out. No, <laughs> him with that knee. Serotonin not here to play. Either is dead shot, but you got to give me the experience. Can always win over. Most of the time will prevail over over the speed that this man. Oh, dead shot can bring back elbows and everything of that sort. Catches that leg though. Catches that leg. Does dead shot. Sets up. Dragon screw once again, slowing the man down. Rolls out again. Rolls out of the ring again. Oh, tosses him back in. Dead shot taking those hits and making something of him. And now you see Deadshot trying to go for a finish. Go for something totally different. But may, hey, hey, that just may be what he's trying, trying, trying to go for. Go for something different. Go for something that you never seen before. This is Deadshot for you. And Deadshot just may be able to finish. Deadshot just may be able to finish here. Serotonin in trouble. Serotonin in trouble. Serotonin in trouble. That little bit of space effects are on the way. Beautiful, beautiful clothesline there. And now, goes for the, needs to go to the top. Needs to go to the top for a finish. If you're Jack Manson, you can't even grab the man's leg. 
Only thing you can do is sit there and watch. Serotonin may be out of this thing. Well, that double foot stomp could do it right here. Beautifully done. Oh, he got all of that. Call it what it is. Referee one. No. <laughs> A zero. Referee, I don't think his hand, did his hand even hit the mat? His hand even hit the mat. You gotta give credit to a guy like Serotonin who's been through this kind of style. And I told you, we just came from a hardcore match. Serotonin being a master, a damn near master of that because of the inventive style that he brings. Looking for the knee and oh, saw coming a mile away. Oh, misses that kick. Punch right into the midsection. Sets up. Pile driver coming up here. This is what we've seen from Serotonin for years. <laughs> Laying him out flat. Laying him out flat could do it. Serotonin ready to finish here. Sets up. Even flow. Here coming up here. Beautiful DDT lays him into the ground. Could be it right here. Referee. Referee. One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> again. Again. Sure. Sure. Serotonin may have kicked out at a damn zero. But this man, Deadshot, kicked out in the last second. And that's definitely going to get into the head. That's definitely going to get into the head. Oh, <laughs> Speaking of head, he just cracked him across the head with Enziguri there. Misses that though. Somehow saw it coming a mile away. Toss him into the corner. Watch out, ref. Close line take down there. Referee moving the hell out of the way. Doesn't want to get caught with any more moves here tonight. I can tell you that. Best believe these guys hit hard. Oh, shots. Another one there. Going in for the shots. Going in for the shots. Going in for the kills. And he can, he, he can barely even stand at that point. Stumped on the chest. Another one there. Misses that. Realizing what the opportunities are in front of him. Goes for it all. Hurdick and Ronnie gets all of that. This match is definitely turned up to within this. When it comes to speed, this match is turned up for, the, for a definite 1,000 here. Go for it again. Core screw. Axe kick. Got all of it. Now he needs to go for the finish. He needs to go for something big. He needs to go for something big. Double foot stomp or something. Go for that cutter kick. Do something. Change the way that this match is going to go for yourself. Kick to the spine. Takes this man down. Out of it all of he is. Oh, as out of it as he is. Eric Serotonin bring him back with these shots. My goodness. Big shot there. Death shot fighting back though. Death shot can be set up for the death shot right here. Go for it all, go for it all, kid. Come on, come on. You got this. You got this in the bag. You got this in the bag. Smooth. Taunting him. I don't think he's taunting him to get him outside. Either way. Oh. <laughs> this is a match here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Being only our second match of the night, it's, this has been something to watch. And now these guys are going to get us to each other back in the ring. That's exactly what you see there from Dead Sorry, from Serotonin. Dead shot now being laid out. Back elbow, no saw coming away. Got something coming my way. Swatted kick to the leg there. This is all dead shot. This is all dead shot here. I'll toss him to the outside. Oh gosh, it lands right across him there. Beautiful. Gotta be the fucking damn near tempting. For Deadshot not to go outside and land on him here. That's exactly what we just saw. That's exactly what we just saw. But at the same time, now he's maybe slowing the momentum down and giving it more towards Serotonin here. Kick to the back one more time. This could be it. It could be it. Going for something big with Seam. Oh, no. Who knows what this man has in store? Who knows what this man has in store? Watch this. Neck break. Oh, Ooh. oh my gosh. Goes with a hook and a leg after that one. No. <laughs> Deadshot, you gotta finish this thing, kid. You gotta finish this thing. Don't waste any more time trying to get things done. Just do it. Just do it. Dra Dragon Scroop is on there. From Serotonin. Serotonin laying down the shots. Oh, he cr fucking crumbles right across the body. And he's going for another one here. Oh. Fucking hey, These guys laying down shots after shots here. Look at this. Oh, and he's playing dirty. It's just rubbing that boot across the face of Deadshot. Disrespectful if anyone. Chops and shots and everything of that sort. Kick to the midsection once again. Just may have this thing in the bag and he got him again with that even flow. Not once, not twice, but three times. And sometimes the third time is all it needs. Referee, one, two, three. This one is over. My goodness. What a fucking match here. That was insane. That match was back and forth amazing speed amazing energy you didn't expect it from a guy like Azrael and Matt, let's be honest here Azrael isn't the youngest of them on the roster by any means but the guy can still go and that's what matters here tonight that's what mattered here tonight whether you liked it or you didn't like it 
When it came down to it, when it came down to it all being said and done, Dead Shot making his return here to pure intense wrestling, couldn't get the victory here tonight. Take nothing away from this kid. He'll have his moments. He best, he, you best believe he will get his moments when as time goes on. But tonight just wasn't his night. I'll tell you that. But hey, there's always time. There's always another chance. There's always another chance. But Azrael is no joke. What is this? I'm so I'm, I'm still calling the man Azrael. It's so hard not to. But serotonin here. I'm sure if he could shake his hand, he would. Just look into the eyes of the man. Serotonin. For him not to attack him, must have something planned. Must have something planned. Asriel easily could have, Sorry, Serotonin easily could have just attacked him. And hit him for another move. Hit him with something else, but... Picks him up. For whatever. I, I don't... Who knows? Who knows what's going on? But we'll find out soon enough. With that being said and done, we got some more action for you up next here on Pure Intense Wrestling. Don't you dare click away. Yeah. Welcome back to Pure Intense Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. A name we don't get to see too many times. I'm looking better than ever. This is Uha. Hasn't really found success this year. Definitely was successful last year, being Pintest Wrestling's, what, Intercontinental Champion at the time. Great run for this guy. And I want to see him, I want to see him as Television Champion. I want to see him as Tag Team Champion. I want to see him as World Champion. That's what I want to see. I, I, I can see that. Quite honestly, I can see that. He has it all. He has the speed. He has the strength. He has the athletic ability to be in the ring with anyone. Sure, it may not be the biggest guy of them all, but when he makes that up with strength, he makes it up with everything else that you don't think that he has. This guy can do it all in the ring, but you best believe if he wants to win here tonight, he's not to bring his all. If he wants to win it or get a win, he needs to bring it as, give it his all. If he wants to get those championship chances, he needs to give it his all here tonight. Not only that, but win. Can he do that? Find out in mere moments. Crowd really bad on who are here, and I'm glad that they brought their sons up with this man, but he's another man who definitely needs more wins under his belt. Wasn't successful last weekend. I, I don't... It's hard to keep a straight face. It really is. It is really hard to keep a straight face when everything you do just isn't working out for you. But he needs this. He needs this more than anything. Ben Satellite needs a win here tonight. These are two guys who need a win. There's, there's no, there's no if ands or buts about it. He, they need a win. Either one of them needs a win. They're not gonna end this thing in a draw. Well, that means that's a possibility. But you know what? They want to end this thing with a pinfall submission somehow, some way. Both guys very agile. But both, both guys very good in what they do. Question is, who's gonna win it? We'll find out when we return. Here to pure intense wrestling. Uha, uh -huh. Ben Satellite, take each other on. Singles competition, no bullshit. Let's get right into the action here. See Uha, uh -huh, very aggressive going in first. Uha uh -huh being the slightly bigger of the two. Both well, these guys aren't really necessarily big. I say they're very uh, um, chiseled like stone on both these guys. They're not flab. They don't have any flab on them. They're not. There's no fat on their body. They just get it going. Right now, speaking of getting it going, Uha uh -huh landing in those shots early. Elbow right there. Throws them off the off the uh, off the oof off the ropes here. Probably once again, setting up for something. Oh, drop kick takes him down to, to size here. Goes for the hook of the leg. Could be it right here. Referee call it. Throws a shoulder up referee as the referee throws his hand down to the mat. Oh, kicks him in the face right there. No sort of disrespect, but that's just what you gotta do. You gotta get that. You gotta get the something going first. You gotta be getting the first first one to get something going. Right now, it's going for something big. No, saw it coming a mile away. Laying down that elbow there. Better than 
than it better than anyone else that does that necessarily. And that could be it right here. Call a referee. And for a quick one there once again. Floats over with a beautiful DDT. Showing off to the crowd. But like I said, this could be the downfall of many wrestlers here. To, not just tonight. Oh! Be a downfall for many wrestlers to come. Whether it's the future or not, sometimes cockiness can get you into trouble. Sometimes cockiness can get you in trouble real quick. And if Uwa wants to win, he needs to figure a way to not be so cocky. I know it's hard to not be because when you're when you're you know when you're ahead of your opponent by sometimes leaps and bounds, it's, it's easy to just be say, hey, I, I got this match. I can I can do this. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, Ben Satellite finds a way to get back into it simply because of that cocky attitude. Which could lead to Ben Satellite's prevail over here in this match against Oh! Against Uha here. Going for the springboard. 450. He got Oh! I thought it went for it. It did too much. Did too much and it gives Uha the time to recover. But at least Ben Satellite knew. I think he knew how far he pushed himself there at that point. It went in too close. Oof! Close line there. Diving close line at that. Speaking of, watch, speaking of something big, watch this. Elbow drop. Did you see him corking in midair? That was cool as hell. Also hooking the leg. Perfect camera angle here for everything. Two. Oh. oh, went for that baseball. Oh, he's trying to slide down for it. Maybe got himself a little, a little bit of a rug burn there on, this, on, the, on the canvas of this mat here in this wrestling ring. Oh, slap right to the face. Trying to wake him up. I don't think he needs to be woken up. I think he needs to figure out what his next step's gonna be. Right now, Uha not looking too great. Uha not looking too great right now. Going to the top is Ben Salek. Instead of Ben Salek going for a pin, goes for something totally bigger. That could be right there. Could be the finish. Could be the finish. Referee one. No. Too early. Too early, man. Too early, Ben. What are you thinking? Either way, Ben going up to the top one more time. Shooting star. No. Oh no, Uha going to the top now. I'd be scared of this man when he gets it, when he gets some height going. Watch out, watch out. Look at this. Moonsault, no. Both guys going for big time moves. Ben Sal like says no. Ain't happening. You're not, you're not gonna you're not gonna catch me off guard. Not this time. He like if you wanna win, you gotta have something, you gotta definitely prove yourself here for tonight here for sure. Whether you're Uha or Ben Sal like going for the hook of the leg once again. Those that show up early in this match, and that sometimes that strength may come into into handy. When it comes out, they're kicking out the moves, and I'm just trying to slow the pace down. Is Ben Salah here? And sometimes slowing the pace down is what you need, and then the speed, it's throwing the speed right back to 100 may just be the thing that he needs to do to get himself back into this thing. And I'll go to the top one more time. Question is, what the hell has Ben have this time that he didn't do before? Oh gosh, I don't. I honestly don't know if Ben can make it from there. I, I'm not doubting him, but oh, he definitely got all everything he was going for. Knowing, knowing. Ben from before, he's the kind of guy that will go for, uh, you know, try, we would try to go for a Dragon Rana from that position there, from that range, and possibly land it or not. And that's because he may be overexerting himself at times too. Ben Satellite, like, that's one of his biggest things. Like, hey, you gotta slow down sometimes. Standing shooting star. You start to see the size of this man be be less of a factor here, and how the, the, the and the biggest question being how the hell is gonna get things going. And not only that, the question you gotta definitely be asking yourself against with Uha is for a guy that has so much so much body build across him, how the hell is he moving like so swiftly? Moving as so just as swift as Ben Satellite here. Uha in trouble. Oh, back elbow there. What can he do from the top? Oh, diving shoulder block takedown. I don't think Uha knows what his next step's gonna be. Quite honestly, that was a, that was a, a, a move there that definitely changed the pace of this match simply because you didn't know if Uha was gonna fucking get himself out of that, and that could have been the big the big time change that Ben Salah was looking for. Ben Salah hitting his move way too early and earlier on in the match. Uha not me the other way, simply maybe as with being the size. Like I said, the size of Uha isn't the problem in this match. Oh. Goes down. You saw Swift. He went down for those legs and broke down the slightly bigger Uha here. Maybe the end of the match right here. One, two. No, throws that shoulder up. Arguing with the referee's not gonna get you. You're, you're not gonna get your point across, Ben. You gotta go for something big. Let's see, he's going for that 450 again. He's trying to tap for it. He's trying to attempt for it. Look at this. 450. And he got all of that. Step around the chest. 
Ben, I don't know what his plans are. Oh, shot right there. Inverter Frankenstein already got all of it. Inverter Steiner, my goodness. And now Ben turning through the crowd. And this, is the, this is the perfect time to do that. But at the same time, if you're not winning, if you're not getting your, if you're not getting anything going your way, you need to figure out now why it isn't working. And then things like that may get you in trouble. He needs to figure out why these moves aren't working for him. Why these things aren't going his way. Ooh, -ha, in trouble here. Ben Salah at the top one more again. Misses all of that. Oh, punch right there to the head. Shot right there again. <laughs> My goodness. This, these guys are beating the hell out of each other here. Uha ready to fly. This man's all about flying here. Toss him in the outside. Making sure he has some distance. Making sure he can keep his way. And right now, Ben Sala in a bad way. Uha ready to fly here. Ladies and gentlemen, watch out. Oh my gosh. Tobey Conhello right across the shoulder blade and top of the head of Ben Satellite here. Uha now with things going his way. Toss him back inside. Let's see what this man can do. Is What does Uha have? What does Uha have, have in him? Can he do it? Can he do it? Can he finish this thing here? Ben Sala in a bad spot. Shot right across the head. Watch the strength. Watch the strength here. This, he's has some, like, it propelled in midair. Just so damn strong. One, two, no. And do you see him kick? Do you see Ben Sala is he's a, he's, a, he's a crafty kid. And the fact that he couldn't throw his shoulder up. Instead, he kicked Uha in the face. I don't think Uha liked that at all. Shots taking him down. Once again and again. Now going in. Laying in shots. Oh, right there. This is what I'm talking about right here. This is all what he needs to do. Misses all of that. Oh, and he misses it. Hits the ground hard. Ben Sally takes it. Needs to take advantage of some of our season opportunities right now. Goes for the hook in the leg. One, two. No. And throws that shoulder a bit too. Uha in a bad spot. Man, like I said, may have been amping himself up a little too much there. Ben takes advantage of said opportunities with an uppercut there, European style. Tosses him into the corner, sets up back elbow once again. <laughs> Do you see that? Like that, that rolling elbow, it just it has so much speed and grace on it. And a shot right there, Ben fights back. Kick to the legs again, breaking down the bigger man. Breaking down the bigger man here. Ben Satellite. This is what you need to do, kid. Get things going for yourself. Kick to the... Oh, no. Ooh, I didn't like that. Oh, shots. Oh, <laughs> clothesline. Ooh, I didn't like that at all. Spinning heel kick missed. That's up. Snap suplex. Floats right over into it. Throws that shoulder. You saw the way he has the... You saw the way he had the... the, the uh oh. Going go, go to the top, going to the top, Ben Satellite went again. Once again, he's going to the top. Satellite said, no, I'm a shooting star. Press, he got all of it. Doesn't go for the pin, though. Maybe the downside in this match here. Not going for the pin, going for it. Although, that core screw moonsault may do it. Ben, you got to figure out what your next step's going to be. You got to go to the top. You got to go to the top. You got to go to the top now. This is all you. This is all you here. Taking too much time to try and wear him down when you have the match in the bag. You have the match in the bag. And now finding a bad spot, you find yourself in a bad way, is Ben Satellite. At least for the moment, at least I thought he would. No! Oh, what a shot right there. Look at this. Look at this strength here. And I'm sure Ben's not the biggest guy, but that takes strength to throw someone up like that. And watch this. Watch this. <laughs> what a shot. What a shot. And instead of going for the pin. Uha doing the same mistake that Ben is making. And these same mistakes may cost these men. May cost these boys something. May cost these boys something amazing. Reverse 450. He got all of that. Reverse 450 may do it. That's a big time move. Two. Throw. Ben. With everything in him. Just kicked out of that. Goes to something big. Shots right there. You know that European was coming at some point in this match. Oh! Crashing right across the skull. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a, a nasty shot. And you can see here from this angle, Ben Satellite bleeding here. Oh, and the strength here of Uha. That's what I'm talking about right there. The strength right there of Uha laying down the. Th oh my gosh. That was gross looking there. Forearm shots there and everything. Laying down those shots. Laying down those fucking shots. Oh! <laughs> Did you just 
just see him put him right in the corner and just crack him with that shot there. That was nasty looking. I'm honestly worried. I'm honestly worried about Ben Sully right now. That was nasty looking. Drop kick takes him down. It's the strength here on Uha, the speed here from Uha, and Ben Satellite is just finding himself in a worse and worse predicament, but finds a way out of that. Look at this, Michinoku, Michinoku driver, hooks the leg as well. Referee, zero. Ben now going to the top. This is what Ben needs to do. This is what Ben needs to do. This is what he's been looking for. This is what Bones has been looking for. No, and again, just can't find it. Ben Satellite in trouble. Big boot right there. I think just as stunned if anything. I'm like, damn, he got out of my move not once but twice. But so did Ronnie Hale. It's something that Ben's doing wrong. It's something simply that Ben's doing wrong that he's just not a fan of. Something's just not working here. Kick to the midsection. Kick to the midsection again. Form shots and everything of that sort. And the strength coming in again. Strength coming into play again. Going for it all. Going for it all. Oof. Hits the ground hard. Hits the ground hard. Beautiful maneuver there. Showing off too much though. You gotta get yourself in this thing. You gotta keep yourself in this thing. This is what I'm talking about. This is their downsides here. Going for it all shot right across the head. Look at this. Satellite in trouble here. Look at this. Oh, it's the ground. It's the ground hard. Stump right across the spine. Referee being knocked down. They may slow down the pace of this match here for sure. Reverse 450, no. He missed it. He missed the 450. They may give Ben Satellite the opportunity to get back up. But Ben's just out as if anything. And who I realize where he's at. Who I realize where he's at. Ben Satellite realizes where he's at as well with that jawbreaker. They give him enough time to recover. Give him enough time to recover. Ben Satellite now right back into it. This is what you want to see. This is what people want to see. They want to see this win get a win. He needs a win. Just as much as Uwa needs a win. Ben Satellite needs a win. Uha says no. Big boot, no. Look at this tour satellite DDT. Go for a springboard. So go for a springboard. Oh, going for something totally different. What did they expect? What did they expect him to try and get to wake this man up? Here, look at this. Look at this. A drop kick. That's what you need to do. Bend now. You need to get yourself to the top. You need to get yourself to the top. You're tardy too much. No. This is. He's making mistakes here. Make the same mistakes that Uha is making in this match. These guys are making the same mistakes against each other. And sometimes that cocky attitude. Sometimes that cocky attitude. Somebody has to realize it. Somebody has to realize it first. Close line. And I think Uha realized it first. Quite honestly, I'm not sure what these guys have in store. What's the next step? Because right now, it seems like a, a stalemate. Who knows? Who knows what's, what's Oha's plan? Oh no, what is this? What is this? Oh! Power bomb. Another one there. And going for a third, it would seem. <laughs> Fucking shit. Standing shooting star. Uha going to the top. Taking so much time, giving Ben opportunities after opportunities, to get himself right back up. Reverse for 50 one more time. Call it it, because it's just maybe over. Two, three, this one is over. Ooha, somehow, some way, gets a victory for himself, but my goodness, something's gotta give. <laughs> Ben taunts way too much for his own good, especially when he has the match in the bag. Those are the moments that he goes to the top saying, hey, I got this crowd, and the crowd is eating up, but they, their crowd can't tell him how to, be, how to better himself here in this ring. And that is the downside. That's the downside of having the crowd in your back. Sometimes they can, they can amp you up. Sometimes they can help you stay in a match. Sometimes they can help you kick out. Sometimes they can help you be the, become the best wrestler on the planet. But at the end of the day, sometimes they can be the detriment for you. And right there, you saw the reverse for 50 for the final time here tonight. After all the damage that was done, he finally got himself a three. Ooh, I have to get himself a, 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 a definite victory here tonight for, for sure. But you can't take anything away from this, these, these two men. But when it's all said and done, it goes in the record books. Uha tonight has defeated Ben Satellite. Ben Satellite needs to go back to the to the, to the to the start. He needs to go back and find what works for me and what doesn't work for me. Because right now, whatever he's doing isn't working for himself. Now, you gotta be wondering what is next for Uha. Anyway, guys, up next we got some more action when we return here.
to PNTS Wrestling. by the pin test wrestling you know that music you know exactly what's gonna be Joe Helene makes his way down to the ring let's get it going let's get it going let's get it going and when we see him in action you know he's up to something you know he's, he's thinking he's like yeah hey, I'm in this I'm in, yeah 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 and the crowd's behind it all the way oh gosh here comes Ethan Baker again and, and these two have a one-on-one -on -one match oh no Baker going in and laying his shots here. Baker laying his shots here, just like we saw last week. Oh, against Ricky Green. Ricky Green had the same. Oh, oh. Saying, hey, I'm going out of the ring. I can, I can, I can, you know, I can turn this thing around. I can make something of myself here. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. But I'm letting him not stand down for anything. I'm letting him not stand down for anyone or anything. But Baker just getting the attack. And you gotta believe that Helene can't be 100% either. Yeah, especially after the match he's had, that ruthless match he's had. He's not 100%. He can't be. Not at all. Either way, tossing him back in the ring. I guess this match can finally get started. I, I, I guess. Baker now. Getting some speed. Whoa! Goes for the legs. Look at the bruises there on her legs. Not only the chest, but the arms as well. Those bruises layering later up quick. Those bruises layering up quick. Oh gosh. Another shot. These shots is laying in. Baker wants something. And the question is what is it? Watch him when we return to Pure Intense Wrestling. Yeah. Welcome back to Pure Intense Wrestling. These guys getting it going here. We expect it. Oh! We expect it. Just a hard smash mouth match like this, but Baker still in the driver's seat at most times. And speaking of most times, this time may be over there for Hellenic. Baker not wasting any time. Just going up. Just going up for it. Just going up for it. Just going up for it. Oh my gosh. Suplex pile driver. Welcome back to Pyrenees Wrestling. Like I said a few, a few moments ago. And oh, Helene throws that shoulder up at two. Big time finish there from Baker. But Baker's still not be able to put away Helene. Especially after attacking him here. It's the speed I'm talking about. Baker just so damn big. Oh, is that body press right across Helene. I like being the bigger of the two, maybe able to kick out of this thing too. Throw that shoulder up exactly proving me wrong. I mean, it proved me exactly what I was trying to say. I like being the bigger man of the uh, bigger, bigger of the two here for sure. Not by a, not, not by much, but oh, uh, heavy high angle scoop slam there, and landing those shots. Now you see Atlantic. This is where Atlantic wants to be in the driver's seat. Shots right there. Reversal with that arm drag. Land on the shots, but no. That's, I know that big shot there. My goodness, just laid him out flat with that. Like I said we saw last week big moves being done, and these big moves being done here to Lenick. Hellenic in trouble. Lenick being the winner of the top prospect tournament of 2017. And you gotta give the man credit because he held his own against the champion in his. And what his what was that? His fifth match at that point. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it was his fifth. I think it was like his third or, or third or fourth. The, the the fact of the matter is this: the man was doing work, and Atlantic just getting tossed around here like it's nothing now. But the much bigger man, the, the big man Ethan Baker, not bigger by much, but just has the body mass, has that body size. Watch the strength here. <laughs> You saw he weaved a very smooth, criminal-esque, right under the man, and just hit him with a damn power bomb out of nowhere. Hellenic may be beat, but he's never out of the match just yet. Now, often do you see Hellenic lose too easily? I don't think he ever, ever has ever lost too easily. He's always a fight when you're against Joe Hellenic here. Hellenic laying down shots, laying down everything he possibly can, trying to slow down Ethan Baker, trying to bring down the legs of Ethan Baker here, but just not happening. Just not happening. Oh, go for that jab again. Oh, oh, shit, just landing these shots. Shots after shots after shots. What's next, though? What's next, though? Close line is what's next. And honestly, I think Joe Hellenic, as beat as he is, as beat as he, as he was before even coming into this match, would have felt, would definitely felt a lot better. Oh, misses all that. 
Misses all of that, and the downside to having a move like that. Oh, no, he reverses it. But uh, Hellenic easily would have came into this match with a lot more going his way if, if, if he didn't get jumped before the match by Ethan Baker here. I honestly feel this match would have been going a different way. But, hey, Hellenic may be able to just turn this thing around. Look at this. <laughs> Hooks the leg on Baker. Is it enough? But for re one, two. <laughs> not even a, not even, barely, barely even a two. And that's what I mean. These moves being laid in too early. And it's not, it's not Joe Lennox's fault. It's not Lennox's fault by any means. It's the fact that he's just trying to get a win for himself. Cross body, beautifully done. Baker right back into it, laying another shot in, holds ahead and crashes him. I don't know if I saw a hint of blood there being shed by Hellenic, but it wouldn't be the first time, it won't be the last. I'll tell you what, this man has put so much effort into being here. Show! Body checks him here. This is Ethan Baker. Baker watching, doing it, watching his handiwork there, talking in front of the crowd, but no one went to apply the pressure and laying down the shots right now. Ducks under. Nips him up. Back body drop there. Is it for something? Alenic saw it coming. Oh, that knee busted. This fucking knee right across the sh right across the sh fucking forehead of Ethan Baker. And Baker just may be out after that one. Hooks the leg is enough. One, two, no. Takes a kick out two. Kick out at two. Referee in perfect position for the timing and everything. That's what we need. Alenic needs to get himself back in. But that neck breaker may be the start of it. That's what he needs to do. Definitely here for sure. Lennox loves to show off to the crowd. And one thing he can do is he can back it up. Sure, a lot of wrestlers can back it up taunting, but if you're not having wins under your belt constantly, if you're not if you if you haven't won anything, if you haven't had, if you really haven't accomplished much, don't go up to the crowd and taunt. You stay on your opponent. You constantly keep attacking. You stay. Make sure that you also Oh! That punch was lethal. You make sure that you get everything going your way. And I think that at the same time there, sets up some one drop. Instead of going for that discus, instead of going for that discus punch, he said. Fuck the discus punch. I'm going for a Samoan, dro Samoan drop. And that's exactly what he got there. The Samoan, oh, and now trying to bust the head open more. Land in more shots. And you see how those punches are starting to lay in here. Those punches are starting to lay in here. Ethan Baker in a bad spot. Ethan Baker in a bad spot here. Going for the shots. Oh, got him right across the head. Sets up. Sets up. Oh, using that weight to distribute. He, was distri he distributed all that weight and threw it right back. Or Hellenic there when Lent didn't expect it at all. And now speaking of not seeing, not getting it at all, look at this. This could be it right here. Look at the bloodied face of Ethan Baker. Setting up. Oh, right in the middle of the ring. Hooks the leg on Hellenic. Is it enough for free? One, two, no. And Hellenic throws that shoulder bit too. This is what you're going to get here in pure intense wrestling. The best wrestling on the planet. That's the hands down the truth. And that's because of, oh, things like this. Moments like this, where you don't expect it, you get you get what you you get what you paid for. That's for sure. Toss him to the top. Who knows what the man has uh, has up his sleeve? Like a big guy, do whatever the hell he wants. Oh, but Baker kicked kicked away out of that. Doesn't want anything to go wrong with him right here. And I honestly believe Ethan Baker could be the next world champion. I honestly do. I honestly do be, he believe the next world champion. It's believable because it can happen. If we, we've seen it before. We've seen it before where nobody, even the people you didn't expect would say somehow, some way got it. That's how it's the same way. Same way. Oh, McGalloway got his match. No one believed in the guy. No one said, hey, you can you can do it. You're the other man. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this Scottish, oh, Scottish born wrestler out of nowhere pulls himself. Oh, a big victory for himself. And all of a sudden, now he's the, he's the man. Now he's the man. You saw Helena go for something big. You saw him go for something big. Oh, come on. Come on, Baker. You don't want to do all that. You don't want to, you don't want to play cheap like that. But that's just the big, that's just how way the way Ethan Baker does it. Baker laying in shots, laying in everything here. Watch this. Watch the strength. My goodness, power bomb there. And now Baker laying in the groundwork. Laying in the groundwork. The face, both men in a bloodied mask. And now laying in something. No, Helene saw it coming. Back elbow there. Drop kick swatted away. Shots. No, just dazed him there with that shot there. <laughs> he tried to he tried to hit him. 
but just missed off the slight edges of the arm being too short. Didn't get that lo that, lo that shot locked in, and you, you all of a sudden you you see wham with a full discus, that full rotation 360 just about lays in that shot up right across the face of Ethan Baker. That was a be it was beautiful. That was beautiful. Now Hellenic needs to finish, and Hellenic could finish here with that spear. We've seen it before a million times. We've seen it before a million times. We've seen it before a million times, and up oh he got all of that. Set up for the finish. Set up for the finish. Beautiful positioning. One. 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 Hellenic got a one count. And look at the face. Look at the face after that. Switch at the discus punch too. The face of Ethan Baker is a bloodied mess here for sure. Look at that reverse DDT. Lift and reverse DDT there. Kind of reminds you of Joe Hellenic and James McGalloway back at Marvelous. These men bloody mask at the end of their matches. But they oh, definitely gave the best match of the night. And this could be one of the best matches of the night, if not anything. If, if, if not second to best at that Azriel Deadshot match. I definitely say that Deadshot match was, was pretty damn good. Now you see. Uh oh. What's Hellenic up to now? Who knows what Hellenic's up to, but I don't think it matters. Oh! Only fighting back though, not gonna take it. Just not gonna take this one down too easily. No, oh, misses all of that shot right there. Discus, no, it's not coming. Usually after that, after a moment like that, he can hit that discus. Oh, misses all of that. Misses all of that. Oh, <laughs> takes him out to the outside. Ethan Baker, this man, something, something. He's up to something. He always up to something. Referee being being vaulted down there. Baker ready to fly. <laughs> this match is insane. Hellenic brings it, man. He brings the best out of you. It's for damn sure. Because Hellenic wants to be just as good as anyone else here. Oh, back shots. Back, back out right there. Shots right there. Another one there. Oh, my gosh. To the chest. Laying it down. No. Hellenic saw it coming. Clothesline there. Misses all of that. Sets up, knee to the mid section. Guess it all. Discus Cole that coming up. He got all of it. My goodness. And you gotta give, you gotta give Hellenic credit. But this match just may be over. This match just may be over here. This match just may be over here. Sets up, kicks around the mid section. Takes a, sh takes a shot going up and going down. Feeling that fall. T t feeling all that fall here. Could be the end of the match right here. He got all of it. Lays him down right in the middle of the ring again. These guys are bloody battered mess. Man, this thing here. Throw. Oh, throws that shoulder up. Does Hellenic. You gotta be crazy. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. If you're Hellenic right now, what do you have to do to slow down this pace? Ethan Baker. Baker laying down the shots here. Kicked to the midsection. Could do a shot right there to the midsection. Kick to the midsection. This is what I'm talking about right here. Baker in trouble here. Watch this. Oh, Ethan Baker just turns it around. Everything that Hellenic's trying to go for. He just gets cut off. He just gets cut off. And look at the look at this, look at this power bomb there. Elbow right across the chest. And now opening up that wound with his punches. My goodness, these guys are insane. Are you kidding me? Now just opening them up. This is a fight here. This is not a wrestling match. This is a damn fight here. It's not a fight, this is a massacre. <laughs> I'll let it going up. Lennon was going up. Go for it. Go we'll for we'll that spear again. Go we'll for that spear again. Ethan Baker in per perfect position. Perfect positioning here. Oh, he got a last spear once again. Hooks the leg. Is it enough? Referee. One. Two. Oh, <laughs> Baker throws that shoulder a bit too. What do you have to do? What do you have to do to stop either of these men here? After all the athletic, uh, all, all the athleticism we've seen from them, you just keep going. Oh, that arm wrench there. Shots. Saw it coming to Joe Hellenic, though. Oh, no. Setting up. Setting up for it again. This could be it right here. Joe oh, Hellenic just took a crumble to the mat. Is it enough? One, two, three. This one is over. After being not only not 100%. 
after being attacked by Ethan Baker. The man, Hellenic, still keeps it going. He kept it going. He kept kicking. He kept kicking out. He kept giving it his all. He realized as much as Ethan Baker throwing into this match, I'm going to throw just as much back. And he did. And he did with authority. But one foul move may have cost him there. You saw him trying to go for the finisher late, earlier on. And, and, and by the end of that match, he was going for the finish. And I think that's what you do. I mean, obviously, that's what you do. But you saw him. You saw Ethan Baker out of nowhere just whip right over the shoulder. Out of nowhere, pulls him back. Hits him right across the head. And you got to believe these guys, especially after the shots that he took earlier on, was just laid in. But when it was all said and done, Ethan Baker kept throwing that shoulder up. But right here is where the definite finish was. You lay, you don't care how big you are, how small you are. You get hit with that move right there too many times. You're not getting up. I don't care who you are. And Ethan Baker tonight, regardless of whether you hate him, you, you, you got to give the guy credit. That, that was a match right there. A bloodied Ethan Baker here tonight. A bloodied Joe Hellenic. Definitely brought their all. You cannot take anything away from that. And anyway, we guys, up next, we got our seven-man event as the champion. Our world champion, James McGalloway, is in action as he takes on Davin Avada. That's going to be something. It's up next here on Pure Intense Wrestling. See this thing doing the champion in action here. Let's turn this thing off. Not usual, but let's get it going anyway. James McGalloway looking great as champion, making his way down to the ring. Oh no. Why? Come on. Why do you gotta do this? Why do you gotta do this, Perry? Why do you gotta do this? Oh! Oh gosh, no! Perry planned to land out of that chair. This match is just made just oh! I don't. It wasn't supposed to be this. It wasn't supposed to be Perry Platt and James McGalloway, but McGalloway with a shot there, getting out of the way of that. Coming out from full speed here with this. Oh, misses that punch right there to the face. Neck breaker. Platinum making his way down to the ring. I don't know what his plans are. McGalloway, right after, right after, right after. These guys flying at him. Oh, each other here. Russian lace sweep. Oh. He's still getting up. McGalloway's still getting up. You gotta believe if you're, if you're Perry Platinum, you're thinking, what the fuck? What, what's going on here? This is not the match that was scheduled. The best of them. This, I think it's a match where to go. I guess we're gonna get out or, or something. Where match just never never happened here tonight, and it's said uh, if out of all people that it may be a, a, a fucking downfall for. I guess it's more of anything a downfall here for Davin Nevada. Oh my gosh, a combination strike there. Gosh, Perry Platinum in a bad spot. Bad spot setting up that tombstone. No, saw coming tombstone there from Perry Platinum. Perry Platinum reversing out of that. And my goodness, whether you like Perry Platinum or not, that was just rude. Yeah. You guys bumping each other here. You gotta believe there's something. There's some kind of. I don't know what's going on. Oh! Nice two going at it here. Oh! Karen Moore, Nero Glassy on fight on the outside. Oh, I mean, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting in the back here. Oh, Bulldog takedown. Nero Glassy on in a bad spot here. Karen Moore has some hatred, some deep hatred here for Nero. Oh, stomp around the face. He's rolling him on the ground here. I don't know if he's trying to humiliate him or something, but you gotta believe the Cameron Moore is not happy. Cameron Moore is not happy from losing the Nero Galaxion. It just, especially in that last match they had. They had it was such a great match, and it just may be all over here. No, oh, toss him in here. Toss him in the locker room here. Nero in bad spot. Oh, gets away out of the way of that. No oh, clothesline takedown. 
I don't think Nero ever wanted this at all, but oh, for switching to get a very cocky and much more new Cameron Moore. Like I said, Cameron Moore has a, I don't think he has a hatred for him or anything of that sort, but at the same time, maybe he does. Maybe maybe that's just the case. Maybe he just has a hatred for him simply because he just can't win. Oh, no, no, no! I guess Cameron Moore, a little on the hard way, it's not easy back here. <laughs> what a fucking shot to the head from that chair. Toss them back outside. Glad we got a camera back here to see this. This is supposed to be the main event. Out of nowhere, Cameron Moore starts attacking Nero Galaxion. Toss from one side to the other. This man taking so much damage. Nero fighting back with everything in his oh, with his power. And I, I, honestly, I don't know how he's good. Why, why Cameron has to have to attack? Why couldn't he just wait for the side effect coming up? Oh, sitting side effect. Why couldn't he just wait? Back elbow there, ooh, from Cameron Moore. Look at this wrestling slam all around that why are the guards that the why are the guards that hold the that hold the wires apart oh from everyone tripping over him. If you ever hit you ever hit one of those, those things are not nice to hit. And now Cameron Moore. Setting up. Setting up side effect of his own, my goodness. These guys are beating the fuck out of each other here. Oof! What the hell? Karen Moore's ready to fly! <laughs> Let's drop her across the back of the head! Are you kidding me? What's wrong with these boys? Something seriously wrong with Karen Moore here. Has some deep hated hatred for this man Nero. These guys are so similar yet so alike at the same time. Look at this! Twist of fate! He got all of it! My goodness! And this is the way that this is the way that camera wants to do it. Hey, then let him do it. Get its anger out, but don't let it be. Bulldog there once again. Nero's just trying to get out of the way. Camera's just chasing the man down. The side effect again. Oh, and Cameron Moore getting a little revenge here. I, I guess this is pure and test wrestling for you. Something's got to give. Something's definitely got to give. But Cameron Moore here tonight we had a plan. And that plan was to get rid of Hero Galaxion. As always, guys, come like, subscribe. I don't know what the fuck was this ending. Uh, I don't know why they made this match. I didn't make this match. Because I wouldn't. Because backstage brawl suck complete ass. But hey, it is what it is. Um, Crash Man's up next. So be ready for that. As always, guys, comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Shinjuku, Fisher Bell, check that out if you haven't as well. Check out the um, other new stuff I've been I just did recently. Um, check out the previous episode of Crash Man Pro Wrestling as well. If you haven't seen that, check out the previous episode of Pure Test Wrestling. That was a great return to Pure Test Wrestling last week. I thought this week was really fun too. A lot of matches went on a little longer than I wanted them to, but it is what it is. In the end of the day, um, the, like I said, this last match in the meet in the um, the Davin Nevada, uh, James McGalloway setup was really nice too. But uh, there's just no endings to him, you know. There's no cutscenes that end this right here. You know what I mean? Like it's out, it's, it's over. But uh, with that being said, then like we said before, guys, as always, comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys at Crash of Pam for Wrestling. Until then, peace out and good shit.